Welcome to the Daily Devotional with Pastor Derek Nider. We've got great news. We've streamlined our content and created a new Daily Devotional channel for our YouTube subscribers. Follow the link in the bio to find that channel and subscribe today. Hey, good to be with you today. We're in Acts chapter 24. We're going to be in verse 14. So if you have your Bibles, Acts chapter 24, verse 14. Thanks for joining me today. I want to encourage you, if these daily devotions are helpful to you, just um, would encourage you to pass them on and use them to encourage somebody else. Let's pray together. Father, thank you, God, for your word today and help us to have a really holistic view of discipleship, God, that our whole lives would be oriented around following the way of our master. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, the Bible says in verse 14, but this I confess to you that according to the way which they call a sect, I worship the God of our fathers, believing everything laid down by the law and written in the prophets. Paul is Paul is uh, making his defense. You know, he's there at Caesarea by the sea. He's kind of being interrogated. Uh, and so he's got this opportunity you know, really to provide some self-defense. And he's just telling the truth, right? And he says something really interesting here as he's making his defense um, against all of these false lies that have um, been brought against him. He says, at the end of the day, this is really what my life is about. I follow the way. These people, these individuals who are making these accusations against me, they see this as a sect, a a heretical sect, you know, something that is against Judaism. And, and you know, Paul can say this from a personal point of view because he, at one point in time, had that perspective as well. You know, he looked at Christianity as uh, heretical and against God and against the law, and he just, he didn't understand, right? So I think there was a, a, the capacity for Paul to be sympathetic with this false viewpoint. But he does something interesting. He calls Christianity here the way. And this was a, a common way of referring to followers of Jesus Christ. You know, people would call it the way. And he says that he worshiped God according to the way. And when, you know, that phrase was used to describe Christianity, they were talking about people who had a lifestyle, a lifestyle that they were committed to, a belief system that influenced every single part of their lives, people who had been radically transformed. Christians back in the day, um, they weren't moderate Christians, they weren't mediocre Christians, they weren't soft Christians. Uh, and I, I, I have to phrase it like this because, you know, from our perspective, it is radical. From their perspective, they probably would have never even used a term like this. Um, but it was radical Christianity. You know, it wasn't just that there was this uh, belief that they had and it impacted or affected a, a part of their life or uh, a compartment that they had among other compartments as well. Kind of like, well, you know, I've got my belief in God and my religious practices and then, then I also have my professional desires, my family, my friendships, my hobbies. Um, you know, my education, you, you know the way that we often do in the West. We have little compartments, nicely ordered, and, um, you know, sometimes things are, are segmented like that, you know? I mean, I don't know if that's how you eat, you know? You, you've got your, your plate, and you've got your steak, and you've got your vegetables, and you've got your mashed potatoes and your bread, and it's all nice and ordered. Some of you don't eat like that. It's just a total mess, but you know what I'm talking about. We can order our life like that, and that's not the way. That's not the way of Jesus. Jesus said that he was the truth, he was the life. He also said he was the way. And it's not just that he was the way to the Father. He laid out, he exemplified the lifestyle that we are called to live. Have you ever, have you ever thought about that? Have you ever examined the life of Christ and really looked at it like a pattern, right? I'm not saying a pattern that if you live out, it saves you. I'm not saying that. Um, I am saying that, ha I'm asking you the question, have you looked at his life and, and thought, okay, he is the one I'm called to emulate. The way he lived is the way I'm supposed to live. So let me look at his life and let me see how he prayed. Um, let me see how he walked with the Father. 
Let me view how he treated other people. Let me think about how he interacted with um, government and politics. And, and, you know, sometimes we don't look at his life like that and really, you know, from a maybe even a granular point of view, consider in detail the way that Jesus lived. And then, and then you know, as we think that through, form our lives after that. That really is what spiritual formation is all about or that really is what it means to be a disciple. I would encourage you after this um, time in the Word, get a piece of paper and start writing down the ways that Jesus lived his life and then make some self-evaluation, analyze yourself. Does your life match up to the way that he lived his life? I'm not talking about, you know, sinless perfection. Um, I'm talking about just being honest with ourselves and then identify some areas that you can grow in and just take some simple steps. I'll do that. I want to encourage you to do that. Um, and really, that's what Paul is talking about. That is how we worship God. God bless you. We hope this podcast has ministered to you. If it has, we welcome you to rate it or leave a review. If you would like to stay connected with Pastor Derek Nider or find many more teachings, please visit awakenlv.org. Click visit and then choose Pastor Derek Nider. These links are also in this episode's description. Until next time, God bless you.